Good evening. Uh, my name is Nikhila. I'm a dental student. Uh, my information about Islam is really uh, less. Uh, whatever I know is because of my friends. My question is, I've read this poster. They say that music and dance is like uh, not accepted in Islam. Why is that? I mean, you cannot say it's generally also you can, you know, listen to music or singing or dance or whatever. Uh, you cannot just say like only for Bharatanatyam or for any form of dance you have music. In general music also we have you when you praise God, when you show your emotions. Why is it said that music and dance is not allowed? Sister asked the question that why is it in Islam that music and dance are prohibited? First I'll come to music, then I'll go to the dance. As far as music is concerned, a beloved Prophet Muhammad said that the musical instruments, as a general rule, they are prohibited, except to give permission for the duff, that is the one sided open drum, called as duff or duffly. Besides that, the Prophet prohibited because if you analyze, it takes a person away from the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from the remembrance of Almighty God. That's the reason when we hear these, you know, film songs, whether it be Hindi, it may be Malayali or Tamil or whatever it is, you find that in these film songs, most of the words that are mentioned, they are far away from reality. You know, the hero tells the heroine, Mai tumai le chan tod ke le ke honga, Mai tumai le sitare tod ke le ke honga, I'll get the moon for you, I'll get the star for you. We know it's not possible. No man can get the, the star or the moon for his lover. But yet, we keep on repeating because of the ambience, because of everything. So because of this, general rule is that the music does take a person away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is the reason a beloved prophet prohibited musical instruments except for duff. Or as generally with your voice. For example, when a person recites the Quran, if he recites the Quran, his voice is good, that's permitted. Because that takes a person towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The musical instruments along in the background do create a different ambience. Otherwise, singing per se, it is muba, optional, as long as the words of the song, they take you towards your creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If the words of the song take you away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even that type of song is prohibited. Now come to the second part. Why is dancing prohibited? There is no verse in the Quran or no hadith that I know of which says dancing per se is haram but normally because people dance to show to the other people you know we have dance performance on the stage where as you Bharat Natyam now you are doing Bharat Natyam on the stage and thousands are watching you so normally in terms of the hijab reason we wouldn't like to expose our ladies our mothers our sisters our daughters on the stage and thousands of people looking at them. So any profession in which the body is used as a show, as to entertain the people, it is prohibited. That is the reason dancing in public or dancing in parties where we have opposite sex mixing. Many a time the rules of dancing, they conflict with the rule of the Islamic Sharia. Normally when you have a dance, you have pairs male and female, and most of these pairs that the girlfriend, boyfriend, and you dance in front of other people. So because it breaks the system of Islamic hijab, that's the reason per se it is prohibited because it goes against the system of hijab. So you have to realize that many a time when you dance, you dance in public, you go out for parties, and you move around. Otherwise, with you and your wife, you can do what you want as long as it doesn't go against the Sharia. Alone in closed doors, husband and wife, what they want to do as long as it doesn't go against the rules of the Quran and Sahih Hadith, there's no problem. But because most of the time dancing exploits the body, it includes singing, dancing, you go on the stage and other people are watching, so it breaks the rules of Sharia, of the hijab. And you can hear my video cassette, Women's Rights in Islam, Modernizing Outdated, which speaks in detail. Why do we Muslims protect? Why do we love? Why do we revere our women for? Because we love our women, that's the reason we protect them and we don't want to exhibit them. That's the reason professions which involve singing in public or dancing or modeling, these professions are prohibited for a lady. Hope that answers the question.